hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk a little bit about how i've been cutting some of my expenses so that i can save more money so that i can pay down more debt so since i've been in quarantine i have been trying to kind of find some ways that i can cut down my expenses because since i've been doing my budget and i'm realizing that i'm not going anywhere like that I realized how much money I used to spend on like little stuff that I know I can cut out of my budget and it really helps now that I'm not going anywhere because now I realize how much money I can actually save from stuff that I could easily just stop doing or I can call up the company and negotiate a price. So one of the first ways that I've been saving my money which is one of the most annoying ways because if you own a car, you really have no choice but to get car insurance. It's really something you cannot not get. But for me, I was 22 when I got my car, I believe. And this was my first car and I didn't have my license for that long. So when I got my car insurance, first off, some of the quotes that I got literally were about up to $800 a month, not the full not the full period a month so I had to call almost every single insurance company to figure out which one was gonna give me the cheapest price and the cheapest price that I could get for my car insurance was about $250 a month from progressive and this was for full coverage and I know you guys are gonna say oh why don't you get limited um, insurance I didn't want limited insurance obviously like I haven't been driving for that long and I don't want to be you know getting in an accident and then I don't have enough insurance and then it's a whole big problem so I took the risk to just get full coverage insurance but definitely like my insurance was so expensive and I would be asking other people like oh how much do you spend on your insurance and they'd be like oh I spend like 120 I spend 110 and I'm like I'm spending 250 over here and these people have full coverage too so my six month term for my car insurance ended a couple months ago and the first thing I did was call up Progressive and ask them, can you give me a discount? And they said no, they couldn't give me a discount. I even plugged in the snapshot device that like tracks where you drive and how good you drive or whatever. I got an A plus on it and then I called them and they still gave me no discounts. So I basically put this stupid snapshot device in my car for no reason and I saved no money. I still had to pay $250 for the next term. So as soon as I got off the phone with Progressive, I clicked off, I went online, and I started getting new quotes. And Geico actually gave me a better quote than Progressive for basically the same coverage, but I still have kind of a bit more. I kind of upped some of the collision and whatever those are called. I kind of upped the amount of money for that. So I was basically going to have the same if not more coverage for way less money. So the same day I negotiated my car insurance from Progressive and I moved to Geico and my new insurance cost is about $155 a month. My Progressive car insurance was $230 a month. So I was saving about $70 to $80 a month just on car insurance alone all because i decided that when my car insurance was up i was gonna call my car insurance company ask for a discount and if they didn't give me one i would go to another car insurance company and cancel my other one and go to a new one and that's what i'm probably gonna do when my car insurance is up again i'm gonna call geico and ask them hey can you give me a discount if not i'm gonna go back online and i'm gonna get some quotes and see if i can even get my insurance down even lower because I save so much money a month just on my car insurance. It's just crazy. So that's number one. So another way that I've been saving my money per month was also we cut our cable in our house. So we have had Verizon for the longest time. I think since I've even moved to this house, we have had Verizon. That's probably over 10 years we've had them and we've always had an issue with our cable being too expensive we don't really watch all the channels and I'm somebody I'm always online watching YouTube so I don't see the point of having cable and we don't use the house phone so what we decided to do was we cut down the cable 
and we just got internet only the cable bill i didn't i didn't have any responsibility for but once we cut down to the internet i took responsibility for the internet since you know i don't really pay bills i might as well help you know what i mean so i was like let me go to verizon and see what kind of deal i can get on the internet so that we can cut the cable we can just have fire sticks and we can just have the internet and that's it so what we did we cut the cable and we now have high speed internet because when we first cut the cable and we just had our normal internet that we had before i think we had 50 over 50 speed which was like super slow like we couldn't even watch tv and um me be on my laptop at the same time like it would start being slow so i decided that since we have about three or four fire sticks i have my nintendo switch my brother has his um his gaming systems um i have my laptops so i have to work from home it makes sense to just invest in high speed internet so we now have one gig internet speed and it's been the best thing ever and um i split the bill with my brother so the bill is usually a hundred dollars a month but we split it to be 50 50 each so i feel like having the highest speed internet for 50 dollars a month is the best thing ever when the cable bill was over 200 dollars a month sometimes it reached 300 dollars. so it just made more sense to cut the cable cut the phone and just have our cell phones and have the internet that's another way that i save money and i believe 50 dollars a month is not that bad now i'm not necessarily sure if the one gig is worth it because we don't necessarily get one gig high speed internet on all our devices so i feel like i could have got lower speed but 50 dollars a month for high speed internet is not that bad to me so that's fine morning you guys so today i'm actually going to be getting my internet upgraded and our cable is gone we actually cut the cable about two months ago and then we realized that our internet needs to be upgraded so we're getting our um, internet upgraded from like 50 over 50 to one gig over one gig and the guy's supposed to be coming soon so that's why i'm up so early it is 8 15 and the guy is supposed to come soon between 9 and 10 a.m so i had to get ready and i also have a mask because we're supposed to wear a mask during this time because of covid obviously but yeah basically um we cut the cable because the cable was way too much it was like over 200 something dollars a month and it wasn't really any purpose because I don't really watch the cable and a lot of my family doesn't watch the cable so we were like you might as well just get fire sticks so we have about four fire sticks now and we have a bunch of devices that are on the internet like we have game system I have my switch right here I was telling you guys about but we have game systems PS4 Nintendo switch I have laptops I have to work from home everybody else has laptops we have phones we have a bunch of tablets and stuff so it made sense to upgrade the internet because our fire stick kept buffering if we have two fire sticks playing my brother can play his his playstation 4 i can't play on the internet on my switch so it just makes more sense to upgrade the internet so and a fire stick is basically cable at this point because we have sling tv and we have that we have netflix as well and i have youtube so that's basically the cable right there yeah that's one way that we are saving money and it helps because this is gonna help me when it comes to paying off my debts because it saves me so much money from the bill so now the last way that i have been saving money and this is something that's going to be bittersweet for me but it's not that bad and i'll explain why because it's a big backstory so up until i believe maybe sophomore year of college i used to paint my own nails i was somebody i never went to the nail salon that was like my pride like 
I always painted my own nails. My friend even bought me this necklace when we were in high school and we're still friends. But I used to have this necklace. I used to have this necklace that says I do nails. I used to wear this all the time. It's like black now. Like this used to be gold. So it's like costume jewelry. But I love this necklace. It shows that I, I did my nails a lot. So I never used to have the expense of getting my nails done at the nail salon up until I really started like working consistently and um, that was about maybe junior year to up until now. So I really just went to the nail salon more so for the experience, you know, the self-care experience. And I didn't really have that much time to paint my nails like I usually did because I used to do patterns, water marbling, I used to do all of that stuff. So now that we're in quarantine, I realized that how much money I spent at the nail salon was just ridiculous. Like the nail salon is extremely expensive when you really think about it. Like it's literally just your nails and it chips and you have to keep doing it over and over again. It grows out or whatever. So I decided to start painting my own nails. Now when I first started painting my own nails, I was using regular nail polish and I usually use gel. Obviously I went to the nail salon and I realized that regular nail polish is not going to work so i bought a gel like a like an at home nail gel kit and i'll show a video i'll show a video of me getting my internet and me getting my like i'm doing my own gel nails but i bought one of those at home gel nail kits and it's like the best thing ever like, i didn't even realize that they were just so good like i spent about less than 25 dollars on the whole entire kit and it came, it even came with a bag like full of tools in it, like all these free tools to do your nails, all of this stuff and the gel kit and nail polish for like $23. And I usually spend more than $23 to get my nails done at once. So I'm just like, I'm going to start doing my own nails over again. Like if we're going to be working from home, I might as well just paint my nails myself. And when we start going back to the office, I'm still gonna just paint my nails. It didn't take me that long. I actually thought it was gonna take a lot of my time, but it doesn't. And it's actually pretty fun to do my own nails. So these are these have been on my hands for a long time. Here are my nails. And they are kind of grown out and kind of dingy looking. They've been on my nails for about a week. But these are my real nails. And that's another pro is like, I don't have to necessarily get fake nails. So I'm like, why am I going to the nail salon when I can just do my own nails like I don't understand so yeah and they don't look that bad they do need to be cut they're extremely long so don't come for me about how long my nails are but when I do them over I will cut them so yeah on average I spent about let me see I spent about $40 or I spent about 40 to 45 dollars doing my nails every two weeks so that's just about what 80 or 90 dollars a month on my fingers alone pedicure included if i was to get my nail my hands and my nails done that would be about 70 to 80 dollars just to get my toes and my feet done with a tip of course so that's gonna save me money to just do my hands alone and these are all the colors that i got they even have matte that i can do at home like glitter that I can do at home like so this whole quarantine has really just taught me that I can really look at my budget and really cut a lot of unnecessary spending that I used to do and yes of course a lot of these things are kind of unnecessary like the the fastest internet or my nails being paid all the time are unnecessary spending but it is good to kind of go through your budget and see what you can cut especially in quarantine now we're not really going out and we're not buying things we're not doing as, as much stuff you can really sit and reevaluate your budget and really see what it is you can cut short term or even long term because i'm going to be doing my nails at home long term for sure and this has helped me to really save a lot of money to go towards my debt later on when i'm ready to pay it because i will be doing um some debt payments really soon so this cutting has really been helping me to really put a lot of money towards my debts and not necessarily towards unnecessary things so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you enjoyed it and let me know down below what have you been cutting from your budget if you have been cutting it at all and 
if you were inspired to maybe cut some spending, what will you be changing from now and going on forward? Because this is the perfect time to actually save some money. So let me know what you guys are going to be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.